Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rukakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word and truth, and then sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners. Who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about your mouth shot? And what I want to get into today, all right, is going into Matthew 5 and 41. And it's just, you know, continuation, you know, just showing, you know, how you how was shot, all right, you know, he was teaching of practical wisdom, you know, he would go into prophecies and he would go into breakdowns and parables, but then he would also go into mindset. You know, of how to be, you know, behind enemy lines. Okay? Which, you know, how Shah was in, you know, the, the Roman Empire. And as we're in the new Roman Empire, you know, these things, you know, apply to us today. You know, now it's in a more modern form. Okay? But it's the same mindset. And Yahweh Shah, he made a mention, okay, of Matthew 5 and 4 to 1, when you read it, it says, And whosoever shall compel thee, to go a mile, go with him twain, okay, and I used to, you know, read this when I was in the church, I didn't understand, you know, fully what that mean, you know, what that meant, all right, now you read in the NLT, and then we'll go into, all right, um, what was going on during that time, all right, um, in the Roman Empire, all right, dealing with Jake, this is Matthew 5 and 11, it says, if a soldier demands that you carry his gear for a mile carry it two miles okay so this was the actual thing in rome when you read it it says in your how shall day roman soldiers could force a we say jewish male but we know all right uh, the jews okay which was the southern kingdom all right the tribes of um, judah benjamin and levi okay at the time of you know the Roman, all right, occupation of Judea. Okay, when uh, uh, Judea was a Rome was a Roman province. Okay, and it says um, in Yahweh Shah's day, all right, Roman soldiers could force all right the Israelite male to carry their heavy backpacks for one mile. The path was hot and dusty, and many of the Jews resented it until Yahweh Shah taught them to go with him twain. The word twain means two. Yahweh Shah said to carry the soldier's pack for two miles. Now, what is this pushing? What is pushing the mindset? Okay, because at the end of the day, we're behind enemy lines. Okay, and we have to, you know, to a degree, embrace, you know, certain situations that we're in. Okay, and within this empire, <laughs> all right, it says Yahweh Shah was compelling them to go the extra mile, which that's a saying today, you know, to go the extra mile. There are certain circumstances when, you know, you go the extra mile in this society, you know, when need be. And it's a thing of discernment, you know, because this society, you know, is so grimy. Okay, you can't be like that towards every single person. But there are certain, you know, circumstances when you can go the extra mile. And all it does, you know, is give you a good name. You know, in certain circumstance, but understanding to whom you're doing this too, and that's the thing too. There's a, a level of discernment, okay? Because when you go here to um, the um, Sirach 12 and one, okay, this is the book of Sirach chapter 12 verse one. It says, "When thou wilt do good, okay, know to whom thou doest it." So shall thou be thanked for thy benefit. So we can't be like that towards everyone. 
okay? But there are certain instances in this society, you know, to where you can, you know, go the extra mile, you know, in certain situations. And Yahweh Shai was just teaching Jake to pretty much stay out the way. Don't be associated, okay? Because like now, we have niggas, you know, a nigga behavior, okay? And niggas are screaming unprofessional, inconsiderate, okay? You know, niggas are just a walking disaster, man. A nigga woman, okay? Where everyone hates to see them come into any type of establishment, man. I'll say, okay? So, Yahweh Shai, in his time, you had the Zealots, you know? You had the Sakari, all right? Jake, they were just dead sick, you know, on being, you know, rebels and, and assholes and, you know, just a problem. You know, pretty much a menace in society. You know, and Yahweh Shah was teaching the conduct that would separate, you know, those that believe, you know, from that uh, 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 nigga behavior at that time. Okay? So we have to understand when, we, you know, we do these things, you have to be to have discernment of who, you know, you go the extra mile for. But there are certain, you know, situations, you know, like, let's say you do ride share, you know, someone has an appointment. You know, for the airport in the morning. You know, be there early. You know, just be prompt. <laughs> you see? Just, you know, uh, uh, you know, be professional, man. You know, there were certain things that when I was, um, when I was working at the steel plant. And, um, sometimes I would have to stay. Because really when you go into, um, they're going the extra mile. Because let's say... You know, it takes 15, 16 minutes to walk a mile. Okay. You know, just give or take with that backpack. You know, so to go two miles will take about 30, you know, 40 minutes. Okay. Then to go back to where you started from. All right. Will um, be another, you know, 30, 40 minutes. So an hour, hour, 20 minutes, give and take. You know. And there's no difference than, you know, sometimes you have, you know, some, they need people to work over. <laughs> you know, you work an hour over, get something done. Okay. Which, you know, though, like I say, it's discernment, you know. And then sometimes, especially when it involves this ministry, because we for sure go to extra mile for this ministry, man. But I just equated that, you know, just going into the timing. You know, sometimes, you know, you might sacrifice an hour, you know, to help when need be, you know. To go the extra mile for somebody you might have you know certain clients in the business that you kind of go the extra mile for your brothers got their own business or whatever okay and you know uh, uh sometimes a lot of times those things you know go a long way and then really you do these things in obedience to the scriptures okay and a lot of times you know i would go the extra mile at the steel plant and even if I didn't get, you know, rewarded directly from people. The Lord will cause, you know, me to have favor, man, you know, at that place. You know, eventually I had to leave, you know, and it became a sacrifice, you know, because it became too much, you know, of a, of a time consumption and, you know, just mental fatigue. Okay. But um, while I was there, you know, from the time I started to the time I left, man, I would I always get, you know, all type of raises and bonuses and all type of things, man. You know, I left there making triple, you know, what I made when I started, you know. And it was all, you know, about Shema Shah, you know, as I began to take hold of certain teachers and teachings and applying them real time, you know. And, 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 and the Lord will bless, man. You see? And I say, this is just anti-nigger behavior. You know, this is what Yahweh Shah was pushing. And you go into Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 3, it says, um, verse 23. Um, I started at 22. It says, For wisdom, which is the work of all things, taught me, for in her is an understanding spirit holy, all right, only, what says, one only, manifold, subtile, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick which cannot be let it ready to do good so when you go into the true nature of wisdom okay wisdom is not wicked wisdom is rooted okay in in in, in, in kindness now there's judgment that comes with wisdom 
okay but the but the nature of wisdom you know is, is to do good <laughs> ready to do good okay there's the you know you really go into wisdom because the wisdom is, is is supposed to be used to benefit even in judgment you know certain people has to be judged even certain people have to be deleted okay but there's still wisdom doing good because a hey, uh, uh, it's for the betterment of those that are living <laughs> okay when you go into the law which is uh, a portion of the lord's wisdom okay that's a that's a wise way to be in the earth okay so even certain judgments all right um that the, the west you know, would look at his harsh. It was rooted in love and it was rooted in wisdom and doing good to those, all right, for the living, man. Okay, so certain men, certain women will have to be deleted for the betterment of everyone else. Okay? So when you go to verse 24, it says, for wisdom is more, uh, now verse 23 says, kind to man, steadfast, sure, Free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all standing pure and most subtle spirits. You know, because wisdom gives discernment too. Because like I said, you can't be, you know, because this ain't teaching to be gullible. Okay, there's another thing. Wisdom is manifold, as it says, which, uh, you know, it teaches us discernment. Okay, not to be gullible, you know, not to be passive or a pushover. Okay. But just understand, you know, there's there are situations to where hey, you can go the extra mile. You know, and mostly being anti nigga and being professional, man. Okay? <laughs> and basically that's what that's going into. But you know, just to show all right how you was shy, you know, he taught, you know, a lot of his parables and his teachings, you know, is based on the times that he was in, which were doing the Roman Empire, all right, which we're in New Rome. You know, so these teachings you know, they hold fast, you know, to this day, you know. So, Lord will, you brothers and you sisters, edify to the next time I say shalom.